the FedEx guy was 30 minutes late. I've been waiting here since 10.30 and he didn't get here until 11. And I have precious livestock sitting at the box. We'll talk about FedEx delivery some other time. And um, that's going to be a topic of its own. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. This is Steven. If you haven't already subscribed to me, please help support by like and subscribe. I look forward to share more query excitement with you and love to answer your questions. Today we have a package opening video featuring my order from Divers Dan. Divers Dan is part of Life Aquaria. This is an order from two days ago. And uh, to be honest with you, my 100% unbiased opinion, Divers Dan is probably not the best online aquarium retailer currently available in terms of livestock selection, quality, and shipping. Now I know there's a lot of um, forums out there, people discussing oh how they kind of went downhill after Petco acquired them. I, I don't think that's necessarily the reason, but you know, I'm not gonna rule that out either completely. Anyways, I did have mostly good stories to share on livestock um, from Life Aquaria. But also there have been some tragedies from poorly packed or shipped marine lives and um, you know I have to have them contacted them for actually sending me the wrong stuff uh, too from the past so um, nobody's perfect but I do enjoy them for a few reasons uh, number one they do not alter or Photoshop their livestock photos when you order something that is what you see is what you get, basically everything in Diver's Den, uh, you will almost never be disappointed because they, the photograph is pretty honest to what actually is happening. Um, you know, a lot of retailers out there that would either color correct or enhance their photos, put a lot of lenses on the cameras. So by the time you actually get the livestock or the coral and you put it in your tank, it's like, oh, this is it. Well, that's usually not the case with live, um, live aquaria, which also I, I, I can see why some people don't like them because their photos don't look that great to begin with. But trust me, the same product, um, a lot of other retailers actually enhance their photos. <laughs> I have also personally visited their facility and I've witnessed the level of professionalism and knowledge your staff members have. Um, they actually have like real marine biologists working at the facility. I, I think most of the facilities out there are either owned or ran by like a hobbyist, um, people who just need to get like a you know, paycheck and they don't necessarily have all the in-depth knowledge and like all the studies and research that they, that they basically haven't read that much about this hobby. And, that's different with Life Aquaria. I, I know when I visit there, you know, the staff there is very knowledgeable and they actually know their animal. And lastly, um, Life Aquaria does contain one of the best guarantee policies in the industry. It's a 14 day arrive alive and stay alive policy. I do believe that some people have abused this in the past, so they've altered the level of generosity in recent years. Nonetheless, I do not know of any competitors who dare to offer the same thing. Uh, mo most of them just like life arrival at the very most, maybe three days, but nothing beyond. Will I recommend ordering from Life Aquaria slash Divers Dam? Well, I guess it all depends on what you're looking for. In general, I look, I, I really love to support local brick and mortar businesses for most of the everyday stuff, you know, frozen food, medication, cleanup crew, a lot of bread and butter livestock. But I tend to have better luck finding some of the more unique creatures browsing online, uh, such as like some of the high-end coral, specialty fish, and exquisite inverts, including clams. Life Aquaria also partners with Biota and ORA at the beginning of the video, you saw that they included the bi uh, biota propaganda and also a sticker. Uh, these two are two of the front runners in sustainable marine aquarium supplier. They offer a wide variety of captive bred and raised fish and inverts, you know, from clownfish to um, dotty bags and also clams. 
So I, I really love them.、Um, by now, you probably know that I'm a client maniac. If you check out my blog, look at all the other videos I have. Like every one of them has something to do with client. So it is very important to me that any store I visit has to be able to offer quality Tridacna client to capture my attention. This leads to where we are today. Well, I placed an order the other day. You know, I kind of crossed my fingers. You know, I like swear by heart that like the last order before this one was my last for the year. But then when I saw a picture of the Squamosa clan that posted on Life Guaria slash Divers Day the other day, I just I I couldn't control myself. <laughs> I'm an addict. So even though I know I shouldn't have, I just had to. I also complimented. The order by adding a green anemone.、Uh, it's a it, it's a bubble tip anemone which I really didn't have a whole lot of success with in the past. For some reason, I'm able to keep the rose bubble tip anemones a great success. You know, I have them split on me. I was able to prop propagate them. They grow real fat, real big. All my clownfish love them. They love them back. For some reason, the green The green ones just don't do as as well. If any one of you have either like a sim experience or know why that is, please comment below. You know, I'm, I I would love to hear your experiences on keeping different color anemones and how that affect、um, the care level. Currently, Life Aquaria ships by FedEx. Um, as you can see in the beginning of the video, it's really not my preference for logistics service,、um, but I don't really have an、um, option because you know that's who they contract with. You know, hopefully, if I can find other people who are also passionate about Life Aquaria, but、uh, have the same passion against FedEx, maybe we can collectively inform Life Aquaria of our disappointment in FedEx services. And、um, you know, find a way to alter that course. So I want to just、um, narrate a little bit on what I do with、um, with my shipment when I receive them. The process of、uh, the process of acclimation. You you see in the very beginning of the video where I kind of did a time lapse. So you know, I usually just open the open the box. I check the packing list, which is very important. You want to always make sure that. They include everything you've ordered, and they also include the right, right stuff that you ordered. I will take the bag out. I will inspect for any distress or dead on arrivals. You know, if things,、um, let's say, if it's fish, if it's breeding alright, looking pretty perky, I probably allow it to stay in there as I float the bag to adjust. But if I see any fish is like laying on its side, still breathing, but having kind of difficulty struggling, I probably will pro、um, cut open the bag right away and start my drip、uh, um, acclimation. I know it's a little bit premature, but I just don't want to keep that poor thing in the bag any longer. It needs to be. So the next thing after I open the bags, I put them. Usually, I find a five-gallon bucket. And I have an airline tube, and I start my drip acclimation. By the way, everybody should do drip acclimation. If you aren't doing it today, do Google, you know, research online. I have links in my blog on what I did before. Just, just please do it because it's probably the most gentle way to introduce your animal. Don't just dunk them in. So after I drip for about 30 minutes. I will then relocate livestock from the bucket to my tank.、Um, you saw that I actually used my hand to scoop out anemone and also to pick out the clam.、Um, I, in general, I really don't like to use net because net is kind of abrasive. It could damage things that、um, you don't really need to. Especially with anemone, there is really is no point in using net.、Um, with fish too, I try to catch by bare hand if I can. And、um, once I settle them in the tank, then that's about it. The origin of waters is very important. The, or, the water from the origin of shipment should never touch your tank.、Um, not only it's dirty,、um, it may also contain contamination that you don't know of.、Um, as far as placement in the tank, 
you know you really shouldn't place any fish in your display tank right away when you get the shipment you should always quarantine them always always quarantine them minimum of two weeks um up to a month i've um in the last two shipment i actually did them for a month just because i i have um lower trust and also for um any kind of inverts you know anemones try to acclimate them i acclimate them using a box so that they get settled down before um, they feel comfortable in the tank. That's it for today. I really welcome to hear any questions from you guys and thank you very much for joining me. Look forward to hear from you next time. Bye.